and listen to a story about a man named Jed. The poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, and up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. The Beverly Hillbillies. be some reason. Paul! Paul! Better come see to Jethro. He's out by the cement pond about love poems. Well, you see, Granny, that explains the cake. The boy's got himself a sweetie. Now, there's no call to get excited. But, Paul, you ain't seen who his sweetie is. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach. Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir, Uncle Jeff. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a boy liking his dog, but uh, don't you think he might rather have a nice bone? <laughs> oh, that's my girlfriend, Susie. <laughs> well, maybe uh, you and me better have that long talk. <laughs> Susie? I'm just practicing what I'm going to say to Susie. Oh, you got yourself a girlfriend, huh? Yeah, he's going to be married. Live in a vine-covered cottage and have scads of kids and live happy ever after. If I can work out just one problem. What's that? She hates me. <laughs> well, that is a problem. But she's got everything. Beautiful face, great figure, works at a drive-in restaurant. Boy, when she comes at me with a plate of hamburgers and french fries, my heart just goes to beating like a hammer. <laughs> and when she gets near, and I see them little dabs of ketchup on her apron, smell that pickle relish on her fingers, that near drives me mad. <laughs> Well, I reckon there's all kinds of love. <laughs> oh, it's a real thing, Uncle Jim. I can feel it right here. You sure that ain't indigestion? <laughs> no. But you've got to give me some advice on court. I must ate 300 hamburgers in the last week, and she ain't even give me a smile. Well, boy, I'd sure like to help. But it's been a long while since I fished in them kind of waters, and times have changed. What do you mean? Well, I always say, if you want to know what kind of bait they're biting on, ask the fella that's catching his limit. <laughs> Uncle Jed, I don't think you and me is talking about the same thing. <laughs> you ought to ask the ladies' man for advice. Well, I don't know none. Unless it's Dash Rip Rock or them other movie stars. Now you got yourself an idea. You mean Dash? He's got himself a string pool. Yeah. I'll get old Dash to give me some pointer. Hot dog! I'll be the smoothest, slickest, sophisticated Casanova this town has ever seen. <laughs> Watch out for this! <laughs> old Dash has got his work cut out. <laughs> Of course I remember you. Now don't say that, darling. How could I forget that night at, uh, Cyril? <laughs> you were wearing a beautiful blue dress with pearls. <laughs> I remember we talked about your mother's trip to Omaha? <laughs> I haven't stopped thinking of that evening for one moment. <laughs> of course. 
course I have time to see you. How about, uh, <laughs> Friday evening? Eightish, <laughs> all right? Well, I know your address, darling. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Cubby is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Dash, but you look pretty good yourself. <laughs> Jethro, I forgot you were coming. Hot dog! Look at this place! Never mind, Jethro. Let's get right down to business. I, uh, I'm expecting a friend. We, we can talk while I'm getting ready. Now, you say you want to learn how to make a hit with this girl. Oh, no, sir! Uh, I want to marry her! <laughs> First thing you've got to do is get a date. <laughs> you know how to ask for one? Well, uh, uh how about that? Uh, hey, let's you and me go out spooning. Oh, no, 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 Jeff. So there's a better way. Uh, try something like, uh, let's make this our evening to remember. I see. Uh, let me try. Let's make this our <laughs> evening to remember. How about that, huh? <laughs> Jethro, I, I was putting on cologne. <laughs> Boy, you sure do smell good. <laughs> Jethro, I, I don't think I'm the kind of teacher you need. Oh, come on, Dash. Why, you don't have to teach me. Just show me how you'd court a girl. Well, all right. We'd probably start with a candlelight dinner for two and a little romantic atmosphere. Grapes closed. <laughs> Soft music. Yeah. <laughs> Flames lit. <laughs> Dog! Is that the way you cook the candlelight dinner for two? <laughs> no. Then we'd sit on the sofa. I'd put my arm around her, turn to her and say... Hey, wait, wait. Don't tell me. I know this part. You say, how do I love thee? Well, let me sock her the way. <laughs> me to the depth and breath and hot. My soul can reach. <laughs> oh, howdy, Miss Jane. Come in. Good to see you. Mr. Clubbett, I have most distressing news. Jethro just called to tell us that he's purchasing a flashy new convertible. I know. I told him to call you in case there's any papers he's signed. But did you know he's taking love lessons from Dash Riprock? Yes, ma'am. But, Mr. Clab, a dash riprock is a notorious rape, rue, and libertine. Before you know it, Jethro will be just like him. Well, it's a lot to hope for, but the boy does catch on to things fast. <laughs> Miss Hathaway is a real dingling. But just between us, she's kind of took with you, too. <laughs> so you come over to see Ellie Mae, have you? Well, yes, sir. I was hoping she'd like to go out on a double date with me. Double date? Well, I don't hardly think she'd want to be sharing you with another girl. <laughs> no, sir. Double date with another couple. Jethro was going to ask Susie, and he wondered if I'd like to go along. Oh, well, we're much obliged for the way you happen, the boy. Oh, it's my pleasure, Mr. Clampett. I hope you don't mind my advising him to get a nice convertible for dates. Jethro needs to uh, project an image of uh, worldliness, uh, savoir-faire, sophistication. Well, here she is, Uncle Jeff. Ain't it a beauty? I'm going right over and ask Susie for a date. You didn't trade a truck on this thing, did you? Oh, no, sir. What a deal I made. $75, just as she says. Don't believe it. Heck, all the chrome stuff on it's worth that. It sure is a lot of it. What do you call that color? Passionate purple. <laughs> Look out, Susie! Here I come! <laughs> Engine fell out. $5. If 
you ask me, he got hornswoggled. Now, hold on, Granny. The fella down to the used car lot told Jethro the car hadn't been drove much. Do tell. He said it was owned by a little old lady from Pasadena. <laughs> who only drove it to church on Sunday. I still say he got slickered. Now, Granny, don't say nothing. The boy is just overpowering the crowd of it. Jethro! Unless you get this thing fixed, you ain't gonna have time to see Susie about a date. Nelly May fixed it, Uncle Jet. I'm going right over and ask Susie now. You know what to say, do you? Oh, yeah, Dash told me. Got it all wrote down, right here. Mr. Purr. <laughs> <laughs> Notice anything different about me? Yeah, you're not eating. No, I mean my new car. Ain't it something? Sure. But what? Hey, it's my Hollywood wolf wagon. I bet you never seen anything like this before. No, I've never seen anything like you before. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Look, I'm busy. What's your order? You? Oh, forget it, Buster. You want the usual six hamburgers or not? Well, no, I, I better check the notes. Oh, let's make this our evening to remember. Go jump in the lake. I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> the last time I'll ever listen to anything Dash Riprock tells me. You know Dash Riprock? The movie star? Oh, yeah, he, he's the one you and me were supposed to double date with tonight. Really? Yeah, we was going to a drive-in movie. Jethro. Try me again. Again? You mean the part about making this our evening to remember? I'd love to. Hot uh, dog! I must have read my notes wrong. <laughs> Lost my clutch. <laughs> Is this the only movie you could find? Here comes a swamp monster. What happened to the sound? <laughs> I bet through the speaker cord. <laughs> General, look, let's go get a drink of water. Oh, I already had six orange drinks, Dash. I, I ain't thirsty. I am. Come on. Jethro, will you forget about food? Start doing some good with Susie? Oh, I'm waiting for the love scenes, Dash. Like you told me. Love scenes? In this movie? <laughs> yeah. In the end, the swamp monster falls in love with the giant squid. <laughs> well, don't wait for that. As soon as you can, put your arms around her and say some of the things I told you. Gotcha, Dash. <laughs> Susie? <laughs> Dash, could, could we get a drink of water? Boy, I thought I'd never get them horns to stop. All right, Jethro. This time, do like I told you and try not to lean on anything, including Susie. Right, Dash. And when we get back, put the top up. She may feel self-conscious in that open car. Holly Dash, watching them lizards fighting sure got everybody here in a mean mood. What do you mean, Ellie? Well, nobody's watching the picture no more. They's all wrestling. <laughs> Jethro's going to put the top up. 
Yeah. So she won't feel so cold. So you won't feel cold. Oh, I'm not cold, Ash. And I'll have it up in a minute. It's a power top. kidding. Well, we, we might as well get out of this place. I know a spot up on Mulholland Drive with a great view. Maybe you'll have better luck there. Boy, I hope so. Susie's getting to like the swamp monster better than me. <laughs> Hey, uh, what do you say we get out of this place? Oh, I'm for that. I know a spot up on Mulholland Drive. Well... Crawling under the car and uh, getting all greasy and ruining some good clothes. But don't you worry. Ellie will fix it. <laughs> Granny, I wish you'd come inside. Where are they, Jed? Well, maybe it's one of them, uh, what you call, double features. Till four in the morning. Hold on, Granny. Here they come now. Boy, your old car sure made a mess for our double day. Oh, quit complaining, Ellie. Got us home, didn't it? <laughs> oh, hi there, Dash. Good morning, Mr. Clement. Did Jethro and Ellie May get home all right last night? Oh, yeah. What you got there? This is Jethro's drive shaft. I found it on the ground after they towed him away. <laughs> well, too bad about last night. Karen took the window out of the boy's seal. Really down in the dumps, huh? If he was any lower, he could walk under a bench with his hat on. <laughs> well, I'll have a talk with him. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breath and height my soul can reach. <laughs> you reading poetry to Susie again? Not Susie, Duke. Duke? Yeah. I'm through with women. Dogs is man's best friend. <laughs> oh, hi, Dash. I wouldn't give up on Susie so soon, Jethro. I think your car was most of the trouble. Yeah, well, it ain't gonna be no more. Yonder she sits, squashed into one big hunk. <laughs> that your car? <laughs> yes, sir. I'll hold it down to the junkyard and had him bail it. Well, what'd you do that for? Well, I knew it weren't no good, Uncle Jet, but I just couldn't bear to part with it. <laughs> Cheer up, Jethro. We can still figure out a way for you to make a hit with Susie. Well, I don't think so, Dash. I can't even make a hit with Duke. <laughs> you know, when I was courting, I was done best when I took the girl out someplace extra special, like uh, up to watch the bats fly out of Carson's cave at sundown. <laughs> oh, shucks. I'd do all right, though, if I had a pad like Dash's to ask a girl up to. Okay, you've got it. I do? You sure, Dash? Well, sure. I got a date with LMA tonight. He can have it all evening. Hot dog! I'll go out and ask Susie right now. Watch out for the... <laughs> Jethro may not be the smartest date that girl ever has, but he'll sure be the cleanest. <laughs> Department. Yeah. Gee, I uh, never thought I'd get a date with you after last night. Neither did I. Huh? Nothing. You think Dash might show up later on? Uh-uh. We're uh, all alone. Oh, 
Well, <laughs> just wait till the girls hear that I was in Dashie's apartment. What is that smell? It's cologne. <laughs> I picked it out myself. It's called kissing the lilacs. Jethro, that's a perfume for women. I know. You're a woman. That's why I throw it on an extra lot. <laughs> would, would you like a drink? Sure. Ice water or right out of the tap? <laughs> Well, this is a surprise, Ellie. I thought we'd be going out tonight. Well, you ain't even had the surprise yet, Dash. Close your eyes. Now, sit down and let me hold your hand. Here it comes. <laughs> Taffy. Taffy? Yeah. Well, it. Now we're going to have some real fun. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll get it, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I could stand by no longer. I must rescue Jethro from the tainted tutelage of that despicable Dash Riprock. Jethro ain't here, Miss Jean. No, he's over to Dash's apartment. On the job training, I suppose. <laughs> Wait until I see Dash. Dash is in the parlor with Ellie. You left them alone! Let's go, Dash. Let's go. I, I can't, Ellie. I'm stuck on it. I have that child! <laughs> and now to rescue Jethro. <laughs> you know that Miss Hathaway is a real ding -a -ling. She give Dash a crop up side of the head. Remind me not to invite her to a taffy pull. It'd be right worked up over it. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like to sit on the sofa? Oh, no, thanks, Jethro. I really ought to be going now. It's been a real thrill. Gee, thanks for everything. Hey, hey wait, don't go. Uh, we can watch TV. Oh, is there a Dash Rip Rock picture on? I'll see. Oh. Uh, we can watch for a while. And by then, our candlelight gourmet supper for two will be ready. <laughs> Susie? <laughs> oh, no. No more of that. Hey, wait. No, I, I really have to go, Jethro. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Hey, but we ain't had our candlelight gourmet supper for two yet. Wait, I'll get it. <laughs> Just special for you. I know you're gonna like it. Look, three dozen hamburgers. <laughs> Bar. I didn't get a chance to dim the lights or turn on the music or light the flames. It's a shame to waste all these hamburgers. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to sit down and drown my sorrows. Jethro! I'm here to save you. Save me from what? The influence of Dash Riprock. Oh, shucks. I didn't get a chance to use any of the things Dash showed me. What things? Well, lots of stuff. You want some of these hamburgers? Show me! What things? Miss Jane, you're too nice a girl. I mean, you're not the type Jethro! To... Show me! First, you gotta go sit on the sofa. Yes, then what? Well, then I'm supposed to sit down sneak my hand over and turn on the music. Yes? Boy, that hamburger sure smell good. What next? <laughs> and I'm supposed to dim the lights. <laughs> and I'm supposed to say, you're beautiful and ravishing. Yes! And then I'm supposed to say, Jethro, this is maddening. I know. I can't stand it no longer. Oh, me neither. Good. Let's get out damn hamburgers. <laughs> Now 
now it's time to say goodbye to Jed and all his kin. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to this locality to have a heaping helping of their hospitality. Hillbilly, that is. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, here. This has been a Filmwise presentation.